How's it going everyone? Trucks and Water here today. And today we're going to start back into the viewers trucks. Uh, if you noticed last week I didn't upload one, it was due to the fact that I was editing the Alabama videos. So if you haven't seen those, check those out now. They're awesome videos. Um, can't be any more happier about them than uh, with them at all. I mean, they're just awesome videos. But anyways, if you don't know what viewers trucks is, basically viewers of the Instagram and YouTube page send in their trucks with description and I read it out loud and show pictures in the video. This is not going to be a long one. I'm kind of easing back into it this week, but let's get started. The first guy is named underscore Colin underscore uh, Sauls. Yeah, Sauls underscore. Um, he's got a 1996 Ford F-150 XLT. Uh, my first truck got it right before I turned 16 for $3,200 with, with 315,000 miles on it. Um, man, if it's got 315,000 miles on it, that is one clean truck for that year. Um, I have a special place in my heart for these trucks, not this particular generation, but the mid 80s, my dad had one of the four speed with the straight six cylinder in it. Um, he had a 48 inch super swamper. This truck was bad and um, had the biggest truck in his hometown pretty much that that we know of when he was my age. But um, it was an awesome truck. Um, that being said, um, these trucks are getting to be real classic, so hold on to it, man. Keep modifying, keep doing what you want to do to it, and I'm sure it's going to look good by the end when you're done with it. So, the next guy on our list, his name is Colin Woodyard. Um, he said he wanted to be in the video, but never sent me a description on the truck, so I'm going to try my best to, if I mess up on the year or engine, I'm sorry. But from the look of this truck, it looks like it's a 7.3 Power Stroke. Either a 2000 to 2003 extended cab lifted. Um, I could be wrong. It could be that change year for him in 03 to 60. I'm sorry, man, but never sent me anything to talk about. But it looks like an awesome truck. It's, it's an extended cab, so you do have the back seat. Those 7.3s are not known to be like a fast truck. Like you don't really build them in like a drag truck or anything. But my God, will they pull. And they'll last forever, like the 12 valve Cummins. They will not freaking die. Um, so, awesome truck, man. Can't wait to see what you do with it in the future. So, keep up the good work, bud. Okay, guys. So, our next guy on the list, his name is Roland.Cole68. He has a 1993 D250 with a uh, Ram um, 12 valve Cummins with 113,000 miles on it. He's got 22 by 12 with a 2 inch spacer. Bill Auto, fuel pin, Governor Springs, full 4 inch exhaust, found in a barn where it sat for a year and a half. Man, I have a very, very special place in my heart for these kind of trucks. Um, these trucks are, they're, they're just classics. They, they never, ever get old. And um, you have, granted it is a barn find, so you know, it's not going to be a perfect paint condition, but it is one clean truck, man. Hold on to that truck. Keep modifying it. They're always going up in value. You can never, ever find the early 12 valves, Harley, let alone relatively in nice shape. Um, I can't wait to see what you do in the future, man, but, man, you got one gem, and I would hang on to that thing forever. So the last guy on our list, his name is Nicky, Nicky, Nicky Man 10 you got a 2002 Dodge Ram 3500 Cummins, so the 24 valve, 6 speed, uh, 4x4 with a fast fuel and an edge programmer. Um, it is a flatbed, and I do believe it's an extended cab by the picture. Yeah, it looks like it's an extended cab. Um, he's got a light bar on it. Of course, he's got the tow mirrors, and it's a, it looks like a really nice flatbed. Um, awesome truck, man. It's very clean. I like the way it's set up. It looks like you set up for towing, so if you tow a lot, this setup makes so much sense. Um, those dualies can just... There's videos on Instagram or YouTube and Instagram of towing like 35,000 pounds without breaking sweat, even though they're not even remotely rated for that. Um, the trucks back then were underrated, in my opinion, on their capability. I understand why they did it the technology and all that back then they had to keep it in a certain level for the consumer but it's an awesome truck man keep up with the build um 
let us know anything changes on the truck but man you did an awesome job so that's going to wrap it up for today's viewer video uh viewers trucks if you want to be a part of this message me on instagram with a picture of truck and a story please i need to know like my list stuff that's happened with the truck with you and your friends in there whatever um i do about four to five a week so send me in your truck you know and then we'll go from there. But I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. All of you, have a great day. And remember, never give up on your dreams.